Hello there. I'm back to tell you all about the new enhancements in Zoho CRM in the month of June 2024. An exciting new update is the Canvas record form. With this update, we're extending the power of personalization that Canvas brings to Zoho CRM to your record entry pages. You can now do away with the traditional two-column flow of record entry and move to a state of free flow. Users can design their own layout highlight key data and create visually engaging record entry pages that reflect their brand. We've added a tab called Form Views, where you can customize and access the various views you create. Elements in the Canvas Builder, like data, elements and styles, are replicated in the Canvas Record Form Builder as well, thereby ensuring you the ability to add the data you want, the way you want, and style them however you please. We also have the all-new Field State Editor, which offers an additional level of customization that now enables you to highlight fields based on different states of the field, like default, mandatory, or disabled fields. Moving on, we have quite a few updates to email deliverability in Zoho CRM, aiming to improve the email authentication and verification process for users. We have now made Zoho CRM's SPF and DKIM records uniform and compatible with records used in other Zoho applications. This means you only need to authenticate your domain once using any Zoho application to send emails from Zoho CRM securely. This will be identified every 48 hours and for this to work, users should have initiated authentication for at least one email sending domain. Next, according to the new email guidelines from Google and Yahoo, DMARC is required for domains. To ensure compliance and to prevent potential email blocking, we're going to show a DMARC setup suggestion when you're sending mass emails. A DMARC tag will be displayed next to domains in the email authentication screen and we will have the email credibility dashboard list domains without DMARC under recommendation. We're also adding a list unsubscribe heading which will automatically be added to all mass emails and emails with unsubscribe link in the footer. This ensures that emails sent from Zoho CRM comply with the RFC standards. Moving on to the next update in the Zoho Forms and Zoho CRM integration. With this integration, you can enable UTM tracking and configure custom parameters based on your requirements. Next. You can translate your form into different languages by selecting the form's language directly in Zoho CRM based on your preferences. You can enable UTM tracking and select form language when linking a form with your email template or when directly linking a form while composing an email. Next, when filtering records, users can now view the multi-select picklist values in the drop-down and select the values from it directly instead of manually typing it. You also get new operators like includes all, includes any, excludes all, and excludes any when filtering records. Last update of this month, you can now import data into the call module. That's it for now. I hope I'll see you again next month. Thank you.